All right, here's basically what I got. 12 volt battery going into a vert inverter, making it 120 volts. Right here is a dimmer switch. Right here is a capacitor. Here's the microwave oven, the input of the microwave oven transformer. So basically you got one wire that goes from the inverter, loops around through the microwave oven like one coil. This ain't nothing but a big Beffler coil and goes straight to a rectifier. This other wire that comes out of the inverter, which is 120, goes through this uh, dimmer switch straight to the rectifier. Now I'm going to show you all that. Here's the 120 volts. This dimmer, dimmer switch right here. Go straight to the rectifier. Alright, the other 120 volt lead. Go straight to the biffler, out of the biffler, to the rectifier. So everything's pretty much going to the rectifier, but on the the lead, your uh, alternating current lead, I jumped it to a capacitor. It's just got a capacitor on it, like what it shows right there. Okay, so then I got, it makes it right here, that's 120 volt DC at my hydrogen cell. Now that's uh, just plain distilled water. What's happening though, is as this is running, I'm picking up a... I guess it would be the uh, the field off of the the microwave oven transformer. What I'm doing with it is rectifying it, and then I put a little spark gap. You'll be able to see it in a minute, but I put a little bitty spark gap in it so I can put the current back to the battery. The current will not go back to the battery without this little spark. All right, I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, the battery's at 11.8. You see the battery voltage jump up to 130. My inverter cut on down there. This is that little spark. You see that blue spark? That's the trick to making it. All that is is the output out of my inverter goes to the spark that goes directly to the battery. The yellow lead goes just directly to the battery. This looks like a lot of work, but I mean really it's not. That's exactly the diagram right here. So if anybody wants to, you know, replicate it, I mean it seems to be working. I'm getting fair production. My cell's not even, a, I mean, look at it, it's taped together. I'm pretty sure after I get all the spacing right, it'll work right. That's a 302 stainless steel. But like I said, it's taped together with little messy stapers or spacers. But I really wish somebody would replicate this. The spark is the only way, like I said, is the only way to get the that battery voltage up. If you want, I'll, uh, here, I just made the spark go away. So without the spark, with the spark. So, just another step. Now let me know.